computing folks. So, um, I'm foreign. I'm not actually from the UK. Um, I, I work at a local university. I'm not going to say which one. You can probably guess by the time I'm done. Um, and basically, what I want to do is just talk to you about communication because I think that a lot of what engineers don't do very well is really say what their value is to society. So, for, for example, I mean, um, we've got, uh, you know, we've got drawings, we've got, you know, reports, we've got all these other things, um, and I just don't think we do enough of it. Um, so that's, that's that. Now, I'll get into that in a little bit, but uh, primarily, uh, what I do as a university lecturer, I have a PhD, so what, what, what yeah, I know, right? So, what it comes down to is, is that uh, with engineers, when they're left to their own devices, they invent problems, right? So they invent problems, and if you have a doctorate in engineering, you can invent some pretty good problems. <laughs> so, um, but it is, it is a misconception, because get, in, in this country, there, there is boiler engineers, and you, if you want to get your car fixed, you go to, you know, an engineer will do it for you. Um, that's not what I do. I know, I know. So, it's, um, it, it, it's, a, it's a bit difficult in, in explaining exactly what we do. So, for example, um, you know, I spent so much time in grad school, I can't no longer say, you know, in my, in my honest opinion or in my expert opinion, I have to say things like, it may not be a big surprise. So I was reading the paper the other day, and I noticed that there was a, a plane that crashed. Apparently in the paper, the, the wing came off. And so everybody was kind of upset about that, you know, because it's really inconvenient. <laughs> and so I, I was sitting in my office, I was like, well, what if I'm contacted by the paper for expert comment, you know? What would I say? And it basically goes like this. I'd be, uh, what I would say is like, you know, it may not be a big surprise, but, you know, it, the plane started off with the wing firmly attached. <laughs> and then as it took off, the wing fell off. <laughs> In my engineering expert opinion, I think we need better glue. <laughs> so, yeah, that's under-explaining. That's under-explaining. So, you know, over-explaining, you could go completely the other way. I mean, um, we've got my Uncle Jimmy, for example. So my Uncle Jimmy, he, uh, he works at a, you know, I, I guess a... a, a maple syrup refinery, you know, because I'm Canadian, and that's what all Canadians do. <laughs> and he, uh, he keeps on, you know, complaining to me about, you know, all the different things that go wrong in his house, with his car, because I've got a doctorate in engineering. Of course, I can fix it. I can sort them all out. It's all great. And I can't. So basically what I have to do is I have to say to, to Jimmy, when he phones me up and says, my car's making that awful noise again, and I'm, you know, if I'm feeling generous, what I'll do is I'll say, what kind of noise is it making, Jimmy? And he'll be like, whirr. <laughs> can you go over by the car and like actually start the car so I could hear it over the phone? Yeah, okay. So he, he goes out there, he starts up the car, and I put the phone down, I go and I, I get a brew, you know. And then, um, you know, he comes back and he says, so what do, what do you think of that? I'm like, I, I don't know, have you taken it to a, gar a garage? No. Well, have you tried? Like, you just take it to a garage, right? So, like, well, you, you've got a doctor in engineering. Of course you can sort me up. I'm like, over the phone? Like, what do you want me to do? And uh, he's like, no. No, okay, so you have got a doctor in engineering and you can't fix my car over the phone. I'm like, look, I'm a doctor in engineering. I can write you a prescription. Just take it to the damn garage, right? So, you know, he, he doesn't always listen. He doesn't always listen. So, I mean, I was showing him when I, back when I worked in the automotive industry. I, uh, I had a drawing for a serpentine belt. So, anybody know what a serpentine belt is? No? That's okay, I'll get into it. I'll explain what a certain type belt is. Um, so, I was showing him, this is this drawing that, uh, that I, I created. So a serpentine belt is basically just a, it, it's a, it's a belt which drives all the things that your car needs to power. So it could be your power steering pump, it could be your, you know, air conditioning. It's, so this is a belt that basically snakes its way through all these things on the front of your engine. And so I show him this, uh, this, this, this drawing that took me six months to produce. And he, say, he says all these really choice words about just how productive I was. And that's the reason why his car is so expensive. And then I tried to explain to him, like, look, what it is, 
is that it didn't have to go just through me. It had to go through all these other people. It had to go through sales. It had to go through reliability. Um, you know, the focus group said it didn't really emote well with everybody. And so it was, it's, it's trouble, right? And um, he, he just, he was not very friendly about it. So what I do is I normally just tune out. I think about something else. Like, why are pulleys called pulleys and not pushies? Is it just convention? I, I just sort of tune it out, right? And um, so I, I think that, that what we really need to do is, is to, to be better at over-explaining. And by over-explaining, I mean give everybody all the detail that they would ever need to know, right? Um, what that would involve is like a drawing with a thousand page document that would go along with it. Um, because that would basically substantiate the six months of, of work that would go into to actually producing a serpentine belt. But the thing that really got to me was when I showed him the drawing, he didn't call it a serpentine belt. He called it a fan belt. <laughs> it's not a fan belt, Jimmy. It hasn't driven a fan in a car for 25 years. It's a serpentine belt. And so, the very specific aspects of it, I mean, I could go on and discuss the entire history of the fan belt and everything else like that, but it really wouldn't go very far. Um, and so, what we're end, we end up with is that we have to PowerPoint things, we have to tell people on the street, we have to point at things saying, hey, engineers did that. Um, remembering famous engineers, George Stevenson, for example. Anybody know who George Stevenson is? Yeah, good job, guy. Building the first public railroad from Manchester to Liverpool. Giving me another venue to drink uh, warm beer on a Sunday afternoon on. Um, well, I think he'd be probably spinning in his grave when he found out that they actually do shut down the railroad because of the wrong type of leaves. I don't know, I, I, I don't know why that's a thing. I, 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 I really don't. Uh, then we got um, John Starley. John Starley, anybody know who John Starley is? Inventor of the modern safety bicycle, right? So, yeah, no? Well, good job, John. If you came up with like both wheels, same size, that's pretty good, yeah? Because I mean, if you compare the bikes around the same time, the penny farthing, you know, one giant wheel that you had to talk, that you climb on top of, that's awful. Um, anybody know who uh, Rowan Atkinson? No, no Rowan Atkinson? Right, so, Mr. Bean, I know everybody wants to say, black at her. Mr. Bean, Mr. Uh, well, so Mr. Bean, or his alter ego, Rowan Atkinson, uh, has a master's in electrical engineering from Oxford. What I think is that he has actually just taken the whole experience of pursuing a master's, master's degree at Oxford in electrical engineering and became Mr. Bean. That's it. Anybody who's worked with an electrical engineer knows that, right? That comes out all the time. So I think that's pretty much it for me tonight. So thank you very much for your attention. Just remember, communicate, communicate. Because the reason, the reason why we're not getting any recognition is because we don't tell people what we do. Thank you very much.